The deluge hit Meyerland like a bad dream, a recurrence of the Memorial Day nightmare that waterlogged hundreds of homes, disrupting thousands of lives. Less than 11 months later, the high water rescuers were back, transporting folks who'd patiently rebuilt after rolling the dice that it couldn't happen again so quickly. Um, I don't think any of the families that were looking to uh, wanted to stay and then rebuilt, and a lot of them are just now finishing rebuilt and some of them aren't even done, uh, we're expecting something like this to happen again. No one is sure of the numbers. Some here who took water last May dodged the bullet. Others were inundated this time, but less severely. All are watching and praying the swollen bayou will catch a break from approaching storms. But if we get more rain tonight, who knows? I mean, the ground's so saturated and the bayou's so full that who knows what'll happen from here. Like Dwayne Graves, many here had just completed restoration projects, which left entire households emotionally and financially spent. It was about half of the neighbors had just moved back in in the last three or four weeks. Flooded for the second time in less than a year, Graves and his neighbors want serious answers from those who pledged undelivered flood prevention projects. It's going to affect whether I rebuild here or not. I love the neighborhood, but something's going on in, the, in, the, in this part of Houston and with the subdivisions and the way the water runs off. I'm very frustrated. 